Right. Who am I? Who am I? That's a question I've been asking myself all my life. But um, basically, I'm a retired lawyer, uh, part-time artist, part-time musician, part-time art writer, um, one-time art auctioneer, one-time law book editor. Um, so I'm a, a man of many parts, all of them interchangeable. I have uh, written six books on contemporary New Zealand art uh, and I've been co-founder of the art co-op movement in New Zealand. A lot of other people have tried to claim responsibility for that, but they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and you make your own art. And, and of course I've made my own art, yes, about 400 plus works of dubious quality. <laughs> As um, your audience can see, I'm elderly, so I'm more or less fully retired now. Um, and I would be elsewhere traveling if it hadn't been for the dreaded COVID cruise liner disaster. So um, I just stay at home catching up with my reading on Art. I've got a big art, art book library, a lot of which I bought when I was a busy lawyer and never had time to read, so I'm starting to read some of my own art books now. <laughs> I continue to try and keep up with the art scene and, and keep my tab on uh, young emerging artists, hopefully to write about them before other people did. Not, not to be um, uh, self-conscious about it, but to help them, you know. What I've really wanted to do all my life with art is, because I wasn't really an artist myself back in the day, um, was to help other young artists to get going. <clears throat> and there's nothing helps a young artist like A, someone buying their work and B, someone with a few creds writing about their work. So that's what I've tended to do. I've traveled all over the world. I've seen tens of thousands of contemporary paintings in Europe and England and America uh, and Australia and New Zealand. And not to mention all the stuff I've looked at in art journals and art books. So it's a, yeah, I think it's a bit cheeky to start writing about art unless you've at least done some of that homework and of course young art writers can't be expected to have as much experience as crusty old art writers like me but at least they should have done their homework so that they can discern what they're writing about genuinely has merit you know which they can articulate that's what it's all about really i think As a collector, I was able to live with art as opposed to going to a gallery and look at it and walk out. I was able to buy art, take it home, put it on the wall and live with it permanently really for a matter of decades or more. And that became a great joy to me. I've written about it as being grabbed by the throat. <coughs> grabbed by the throat by a piece of art. I would go into an exhibition and look at it and nothing would grab me by the throat so I wouldn't buy anything. Other times I'd go in and the instant I walked in, ah, uh, the best work in the show would grab me by the throat and I just had to have it. I just had to buy it, you know. Couldn't contemplate walking out without it. It's hard to say why one comes to like things, you know, why does one love horses or whatever, but 
um, I think it's something to do with my 2D vision. When I was born, I was born with extremely short sight in one eye and extremely long sight in the other eye. So my brain trained itself to switch off one eye when I was looking close and switch off an, another eye when I was looking long. And as a result of that, which was beyond my control, I grew up learning to see the world in two dimensions. So when I saw a landscape painting, to me it looked just like the real world because it was indistinguishable from turning my head and looking out the window at a landscape. The two were exactly the same, you see. I fell in love with modern art at an early age because every modern painting that I looked at to me was a little bit of magic, a little magic world of its own. Now speaking at the age of 82, I can say that I, I have found satisfaction in my life because I've been able to do things in the art scene, both making art, writing about art, collecting art, and evangelizing other people to do what I've done and learn to enjoy modern art and collect it and help support New Zealand art and be part of the uh, seen as opposed to uh, a distant spectator. It's been very, very rewarding for me. I sure do have some advice which the parents of these young creative people would probably disagree with, like mine did, but that is that if you have the drive, if you have the passion, if you have the interest and if you have the guts Go for it. Pretty colours. I like them.